Hello, welcome back to Europa. Ooh, sounds like there's a bit of a storm outside. Oh, maybe not, the storm's going away. The main objective today will be to finish the integration of the furnace and uh, printer subsystems so that uh, whenever the furnace or sorry, whenever the printer system runs out of a certain ingot, it will just say, furnace, make me more of this. And I don't have to do anything to make that happen. So I'm going to print out another vending machine and it's trying to deliver some, some ingots and I'm getting a red light there indicating that it's, uh, it's out of that ingot so I don't have enough uh, electrum. I'm going to print out another mining backpack. And I think this one will be for storing ices. Uh, storing ice in it. And I'll paint it blue. Turn the printers off, save a bit of power. Now, unfortunately, my nuclear batteries aren't ready just yet, so I will have to live with uh, regular batteries for the time being, or large batteries anyway. And I will now go out and do some more mining. with the sensor goggles, which make it so much easier.
now I'm back from mining. Got lots of ores and ices. Forgot to turn the tracking beacon on that time. Well, that's no big deal. I could use the uh, GPS to get me back home anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Grab some seeds, some more potatoes, get some seeds, stick the potatoes in the fridge, yada yada. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. I'm gonna swap the tanks out too. some invar since that's one of the uh, ingots that I was missing last time just need some iron and nickel Don't come some Idvar. And now to make some Electrum. Need some of that as well. On day 52 now. Just going through what ingots I have. Thank you. 
a little bit of solder. Shake a fair bit of solder, actually. And use up all that lead, since I have pretty much no other use for lead other than making solder. Stick all these other ingots in there as well. And there's like 300 solder, so that should do me for quite a while. Organize these shells a little bit. Going to run some uh, ingots through the furnace, make some steel and so forth, and just do that in fast forward mode. Lots of copper, that's a good thing. Go outside here and crush up all these ices as well. Make some more fuel up. Thank you. 
get some more water and food and etc etc start moving my shelving down to that end there but first I think I'll check to see if these overhead lockers work and it looks like they still haven't fixed them they're still really screwy I can put it up on the roof kind of I guess on the floor I don't know I used to be able to just stick them above the uh, of the printers, which was perfect. I can't seem to do that anymore. And I'm looking at all that junk. I'm thinking maybe I should just get rid of it. Good spot for a uh, recycler and a centrifuge, I think. Geez, that recycler takes a while to build. Finish setting up this uh, centrifuge and some uh, steel sheets. Need some more steel sheets.
Make us leave a little gap between the, um, the recycler and the centrifuge. As long as their output and input is uh, facing towards each other and they're only one gap wide, they should just, uh, stuff should just come out of the recycler and go straight into the centrifuge. If the centrifuge has enough space, otherwise it'll just dump it out on the floor. bother with the network ports on either of these things. I'll just run them manually. See you later, small batteries. I keep keeping this junk thinking I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna sell it to the trader eventually, but I don't know if I'll ever even get around to setting up a trader. So just put it in the recycler. Day 53 now. Toss all this reagent mix in the corner there with that uh, centrifuge. That's got a bit of gas in it, so. Um, Maybe shouldn't put it in the recycler. I don't think it does anything bad, but probably should be on the safe side. After all, safety first. Stick it in there, I'll deal with it later. Get back over there, you stupid reagent mix. And I'll move the shelf down. Need to move all these shelves out of the way because I need some more space for vending machine and a bunch of other stuff. I'm just going to speed this up because I'm just moving a bunch of stuff around. One shelf for building stuff, one shelf for pipes, one shelf for electrical stuff, one for ores, and one for miscellaneous stuff. Yeah, now I can build this vending machine. I need a solder as well. Lots of shoots.
Gonna need some memory chips and, and uh, some more IC10 chips as well. The memory chips will uh, facilitate the communication between the two systems. Since memory chips have uh, two ports on them for data. You can connect one side to one network and the other side to the other network. And I'm out of gold. Wow. Zero gold. Grab all the mining stuff. And... Have a quick look to see what I need more of. So mostly just gold. It looks like nuclear batteries are ready. There we go, there's an upgrade. I'll turn the beacon on this time. Got to be very careful that I put the uh, the small sized canister in the one that empties, because if I put it in the one that uh, where the where it does the oxygen refill, I will essentially end up making a bomb. Now I will toss all the stuff that I don't really need into that airlock door there eventually stuff it in the recycler. I'll probably hang on to those suits as a backup spare suit. Let's see you later, extra wrench. Well, they've changed this so it says just the number of days since that it expires, so I can't really tell which one's the oldest one. And use that first. Now I have to cut that wire to get that stupid card out of there, so that's annoying.
and go out and do some more mining with the uh, emphasis on uh, getting gold. And I'm back from mining. Need to build a little cage around where those uh, uh, regent mix stuff comes out of that out of that recycler. Prevent it from rolling around all over the floor. Do some smelting. Oh, my shoots are all full. Gotta wait a minute.
Hydration critical. Brew up some gold, some much needed gold, uh, lots of it now. Oh, shoots are all full again. for now. I need a computer going because I need to use the uh, sorter motherboard. a bit of silver. There we go.
pop up that vending machine right about there. Facing that way. And this ladder is kind of in the way here, so I'm going to rejig how this works. Finally paint that one yellow. That looks a bit better. The sorter I'll use at the output of the furnace just to make sure uh, what it's ejecting is an ingot and uh, not reagent mix. And eventually I'll get rid of that output and hook the uh, output of the furnace directly to the input of that sorter. say eventually, I mean right now. Ooh, almost in the boo-boo there. To get rid of some floor segments here very carefully make sure I get rid of ones that aren't at the edges because I'm going to put the um, shoots under the floor so that they're not in the way and the shoots will connect from the output of that sorter to the uh, input of that vending machine so that the ingots can be automatically delivered to that vending machine. A bit of a mistake here, I'm actually connecting the uh, 
uh, sorter to the wrong side, or to the, uh, that shoot to the wrong side of that sorter. So I gotta fix that. And I don't think I do it till next episode. Day 55 now. I've let a small amount of atmosphere in here. I'm up to uh, one kilopascal. Not a huge deal though. Now I've got to go up here because um, one of the things that I need to do is I need to be able to make steel in the furnace and put it into the vending machine that is the, uh, that stores that normally stores ores. I have one vending machine that stores ores that will feed the furnace and the other vending machine stores ingots. The reason I need steel in the one that stores sorts that stores ores is because some of the uh, recipes for the more advanced stuff like I think uh, Astroloy or Incanel or whatever uh, require steel as part of their ingredients. So got to sort that out which is adds a fair bit of complexity to the whole system unfortunately. So I set up that um, that split that uh, sh digital shoots uh, flip flop thing to uh, control whether uh, ingot will go in back into this vending machine or into the other one. Normally, I want it going into the other one, but if it's steel and it's making steel for this vending machine, then I want it going inside this vending machine. Now here I am dealing with these junctions. I can never get. The one I want. One I the one I want is one that would come in from above and from the side, and it doesn't seem like that's an option. Which is kind of a pain, so I'll have to work around it. I remember to flip that switch on too, because once I get these chutes in the way, get all the power set up as well. Once I get the chutes all set up, I won't be able to do this. All the all the chutes will be will be in the way. for one of those uh, uh, shoot um, input slot things, but uh, ooh, found a red flasher on that one. I'll go check my other batteries. Wow, low on power. Okay. Haven't had this problem in a while, but I guess so I'm running into it now for some reason. back here and grab some coal. And feed the coal generator. I haven't had to do that in a while.
I need another powered chute so that I can make one of those um, the chute input slot things. They're a little easier to use than those chute inlets. Don't have to bother uh, throwing it and aiming it just right. There's what I'm looking for, shoot bin. Now back down underground. some more shoots. be a bit of a pain getting these shoots right where I want them. Ah. Easier to work when I'm not down in the hole down there. Hydration critical. Pete's sake. There it is. So it looks like I'm looks like I'm over an hour now. So, so I'll call it a uh, take a break for this video. Um, I'll have to uh, finish integrating the printers and furnace in the next episode. It's quite the uh, quite a big job. As always, thank you to everybody who is uh, liking and subscribing and uh, commenting. And in particular, the, some of the comments have been very helpful. I'm, uh, learning some new things that I didn't know before. So I, I really appreciate that. Got 
got some seeds. Those are on the shelf. And I guess I'll turn off a uh, potato growing for the time being. That'll be all for today. See you next time. Thanks.